Hello, everyone. Happy afternoon. It is afternoon. <laughs> Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Thanks for joining us today. Um, we well, warmly welcome our select business partner, Herzing University. Um, Lisa's here today joining us. Uh, Herzing offers multiple member only education programs, tuition discounts, scholarships, and more. Um, they just developed a new LPN cohort. And Lisa is going to be sharing information about that today. So Lisa, welcome. Thank you, Jenna. I really appreciate it. Thanks for having me. I know this is a crazy hectic time of year, um, so I'm going to try and keep it short, but I'm very excited to launch this new LP at Cohort program for your members. And um, thanks for spending time with me and having me today. And I'm just going to share a brief, super brief overview of it. All right. That is perfect. We are excited to share this program. Right. So is my dog. I am so sorry. That's perfect. Bring yeah. the dog on. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so dog is equally excited about this go for <laughs> Amazon's here. I love oh. Facebook Live. Here we go. All right. Hi. So. <laughs> We are going to launch the LPN nursing cohort program with WHCA. Now, the purpose of this program is to provide career advancement opportunities and professional development for your member base. Um, we know there's a workforce shortage out, out there for LPNs, and we want to do what we can to fill that need for you and also grow your own employees. You could have somebody in environmental services or working as a CNA, that would be the perfect fit for this program. So if you're not watching now, but if you have somebody in mind, absolutely share this with your staff um, because we want to help you fill those open positions. Now with licensed practical nurses, um, of course we know we see them a lot in assisted living in a nursing home setting. You can also, you know, see them in doctor's offices, hospitals, urgent care clinics are another one. Um, dressing wounds is some of the things you get to do. IVs, catheters, vital signs, um, patient information is huge as well. Medical histories, records, um, reporting to the doctors and those are RNs and MSNs that are on mm -hmm. staff. Um, the, the job outlook for LPNs right now, um, in 2020, they said for the 10 year between 2019 and 2029, they were expecting a 9% increase in LPN nursing. Um, what we've noticed from a study that was done last year, one in every four direct caregiver positions is open in the state of Wisconsin. So we know it's a need. We know mm -hmm. it's um, something that your members are probably feeling on the daily. Mm -hmm. um, so hopefully this program will be able to help address that need. Um, so the PM program highlights 30% tuition reduction for LPNs. Now that is above and beyond everything else we offer. You guys already get that 20% mm -hmm. tuition reduction on, but for this LPN for January, 2022 through January, 2023, you will receive a 30% tuition discount on the LPN. Um, that awesome. LPN program is completed in 12 months. So that's a year. And that's, mm -hmm that's 12 months without any prior schooling. So if you've been to school and you have transfer credits, we're gonna to wanna to look at that as well. Mm -hmm. um, obviously my dog, Gary wants to look at them too because he's growling <laughs> at the door again. <laughs> so we wanna look at any schooling you guys have done just to try and help you. So it could be less than a year, which is even mm -hmm. more exciting. Um, it is a hybrid program. So anything that is gen ed classes would be completed online. Um, and then your core courses would be completed at one of our three Wisconsin campuses. So Brookfield, Kenosha, or Madison. Awesome. Yeah. And then even though you're going to get the focus on geriatric, you're also going to get mental health, surgical, obstetrics, and pediatric in your schooling. Um, then you're going to get, you know, the PM program does include fundamentals. So you're going to get adult mm -hmm. health and nursing, psychology, uh, legal ethics, communication, 
Um, it is built out to be three semesters. So with us, that's one year because we do run tri-semester at Herzing. Um, mm -hmm. So it is gonna go quick. You're switching classes every eight weeks. So no grass is growing underneath you. You're kind of moving through and you're persisting. So it does go fast and you mm -hmm. could be in your new career by the start of next year. Um, clinical experience, you will get to go mm -hmm. and experience things at a location. So the way that's going to look, it's not an everyday thing, depending on what clinical you're in at that time. It could be one day a week for three weeks, could be two days a week for six weeks, all dependent upon what clinical course you're in at that time. And of course, we're gonna go through it with you. We are very flexible. We do offer day and evening hours for this program. So depending on your work schedule or we can find the right fit, you know, because mm -hmm. uh, we want you to be successful in work and life and schooling. So that's super important to us. Um, speaking of clinicals, we are always looking for clinical sites. So we want to send our students your way. Um, so, be it ones that come up from WHCA members or just our Gen Pop students. Now, the clinical rotations, I put Kate Weeks is our clinical coordinator. Uh, she would be the one that you could contact. Now, it can be myself and I can forward you on to Kate, mm -hmm. but otherwise I did plop her email address in here. So if anybody just wants to take a quick picture of this slide, kweeks at herzing.edu would be more than happy to talk with you about hosting clinicals at your location. Yeah, this is such a good workforce retention opportunity and a workforce recruitment opportunity because not only can you put your own staff through this program at a discounted rate, you can host it on site in your own facility and general population students are going through this. So what a great opportunity to have them come to your facility and learn more about you. And you can just nab them up right after graduation. Yeah, and have them we want you to for you. take our students, take them, take them. We want them to come and work for you. It's good marketing for your facility. It's good for, again, workforce recruitment and any kind of staff retention. This is such a big deal. So please contact Lisa or Kate at Herzing. This information is going on our website, so you can look at it again, but this is such a huge opportunity. Yeah, I love this. This is just mm -hmm. a benefit for everybody. And, you know, hosting the site and, you know, hosting at your site as well helps you, especially if they're coming up from your organization or not, everybody has their own idiosyncrasies, right? Depending on the facility or how you do this or how you do that reporting you can show them how you do it and they're going to know and you're going to be able to get that first line of sight of that nurse and see if she's a good fit for your organization before she's even graduated so yes it's it's just it's a good way to go about it mm -hmm. And now program eligibility, everybody always asks me, I want to be a nurse, but oh, I wasn't, mm -hmm. you know, I wasn't the 3.5 student in high school, you don't have to be so if you were that 3.0 or higher in high school, you do not have to take that TEAS test, that eligibility test to get into the program. If you are between a 2.0, you know, anything under that 3.0, you do have to take our TEAS test, but it's nothing to get stuck up on. We have things to help you, YouTube videos and some study mm -hmm. guide materials. It's just all general knowledge and it'll just, you want to be successful in the program. We want you to be successful in the program. This will just prove it to you. So don't get stuck if you talk to us and they, you say, oh, you have to take the T's test. It's nothing to worry about, honestly. Exactly, because you may not have tested well in right. high school or early education, but you are an excellent caregiver. So Absolutely. do not let this de deter you from pursuing a career in right. long-term care. Not at all, not at all. And here's that important slide. Everybody wants to know how much it costs, right? How long it takes and how much it costs. Um, so with that 30% tuition reduction, it is gonna lower the price down to 343 a credit. It was 490 wow. a credit. So um, that does not include the learner resource fee, but that learner resource fee guys, that includes everything you need to finish the program, all your books. Mm -hmm. You don't have to go and buy books or software, you know, like 
in the old days when you used to get this list and you had to go and shop all these books, that learner resource fee mm -hmm. covers it all. And then the program fee is also going to get you what you need to, to finish the program. So everything is gonna be sent to your home or electronic. Uh, now, a little bit about Herzing University for those that don't know about us. We have been around since 1965, uh, family founded. Actually, our current president, Renee Herzing, her parents started our university. Um, isn't that awesome? It is. It is. It's, it's, it's such a family atmosphere here. We are a nonprofit institution and we are accredited by the Higher Learning Commission. And we have 10 campuses, three of them in Wisconsin, a robust online division, which has been recognized mm -hmm. as one of the top ones in the country for the last nine years by US News and World Reports. Um, and then we have seven additional campuses nationwide. That's awesome. And we also, I like to add this because as as good as our program is, we add in this price of success, which is those soft skills, which are sometimes mm -hmm. missed because you're so focused on, you know, learning those, those core nursing, you know, things that you need to mm -hmm. become a nurse, but professionalism, respect, integrity, caring, engagement, it's built into who we are. We hold our staff to it. We hold our faculty to it. Um, our students learn it. We want you know, everyone to feel our core values. So it is woven into everything we do here at Herzing. And that's and so important because from a caregiver perspective, you want somebody that holds these five soft skills near and dear to their heart. And again, I just go back to any of our member facilities that are watching this right now. Just think about the career path that someone from your facility can go on, not only getting certified in a specific degree, but also learning these soft skills, they're going to become a better caregiver and a better employee because of it. Right. And people feed off each other with these mm -hmm. soft skills, I've noticed, Jenna. You know, so if you hold yourself to these, before you know it, your coworkers are learning from you. And, mm -hmm. you know, even, even the people you care for treat you as you treat them, right? That's kind mm -hmm. of how we like the cycle to go. Um, so you're, you're, sharing your values with others that we we hold very high at Herzing. Mm -hmm. And we're very student focused. So again, the flexibility, I really like to highlight that with this program, mm -hmm. the daytime and evening offerings. Um, and it is not a, because you're in the program, you're gonna be at Herzing every single day of the week. That is not how this program works. Um, so you only have a couple days a week that you need to be in class. The rest you're gonna be working through you know, on your own and getting classwork done. You are mm -hmm. going to have dedicated support staff um, from admissions to financial aid, registration, student services. They walk you through the day to day. They wanna see you succeed as well. So if they see you fall in a little bit, they're gonna reach out and see what they can do to help assist. And that comes with academic coaching as many times as you want. And that's free of charge counseling and mental health wellness um, that's included for our students and technical support because let's be honest computers um, <laughs> it's needed mm -hmm. so we offer that for our students as well that's so important with the mental wellness aspect built into yes. this because it can be challenging first of all if you're already working in long-term care and you're advancing your degree or your career, struggling, you know, the work-life balance, it's, it's been difficult. So that fact that that is already built in and that extra support is there that's included is wonderful. That is a huge asset with regards to this kind of education and what you yeah. do for your, for your students. Thank you. Thank you, Jenna. It is important. Mm -hmm. And we don't, we don't want to see anybody get to that point where they, you know, that breaking point that you never want to get mm -hmm. to. We, that, life work balance, that life education balance. We know you have a family. We know you work. We still want to see you succeed and we're going to do what we mm -hmm. can do to help you get there. Now, mm -hmm. here you go. If you're interested in learning more, um, you can simply pick up your cell phone, hover your camera over that QR code. It's going to take you 
to an, an inquiry form to just fill out some information on yourself. And then my team, my admissions team will reach out to you to set up a time to learn more about the LPN program, maybe come into campus and tour it. Um, you can also, if you know your QR code isn't working, if you wanna write, just take a picture of the screen, the forms.herzing.edu slash cohort will get you to the same place to take the next steps in advancing into this program. Um, we do start, um, the next start date is in January, but we do start every, you know, we have a couple start dates throughout the year. So if January doesn't okay. work, maybe March will, um, mm -hmm. or May. So it's just a matter of talking to that admissions advisor and finding out what works best. That's awesome. And just a reminder, not only will members whose staff want to do this, you're going to get a 30% discount. Mm -hmm. um, there is financial aid av available. There's scholarships available they can apply for, correct? Yes. Mm -hmm. There's so many opportunities. Grants, to, yeah, through grants, the federal government, yeah. there's grants. Mm -hmm. Our financial aid will walk you through awesome. what you're eligible to receive and also tuition reimbursement at your employer. If you don't know if they do it, ask HR. Um, it's mm -hmm. worth the question. You could have money that you don't know is there. Um, so it's, I always say it's worth, it's worth the ask. It's worth the, the no, right. I mean, just take that. And time that goes both ways too. people, you know, any of our facility owners that are looking at some staff that they have, that are excellent caregivers that need to advance their career or their education. What a great way to retain them, give them a scholarship to utilize this education and, you know, a, a, an employee that feels, you know, engaged or, you know, appreciate it, it's going to stick right. with you. So give them the platform to be the best caregiver that they can be. And this right. is a perfect opportunity to do that. That could be your next nurse manager starting mm -hmm. at that LPN level. Give them a pathway to want to stay with you. Um, like I said, it's, it's, it's never wasted. The education will never be wasted. And the time and the support you put into those employees are only going to help mm -hmm. them want to stay and you know, grow with your company and bring others with them, right? Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Lisa, for joining us today. Yeah. This, this program, we're excited for it. Um, anybody watching, this is obviously live on Facebook. It's gonna be saved on Facebook. We will be sharing the recording of this video on our website. Um, it'll also be linked under Herzing's landing page on our website so you can find it. Um, watch for this information coming out in our newsletters also. Um, again, contact information is here. We hope you guys take advantage of this awesome program. Um, Lisa, we appreciate you. We appreciate Herzing for everything that you do for us and for our members and for caregivers in general. We appreciate you and WHCA YCAL and everything you do for our communities as well. So I want to wish you all the happiest of holidays. And here's to 2022, my friends. So thanks, Jenna. Thank you. Thank you so much, Lisa. Have a great day. Happy holidays, everyone. <laughs> Bye. Bye.